With red flag warnings taking effect starting tomorrow, fire stations like this one will, could be battling brush fires. Luckily, this Rogers fire station has a special vehicle to deal with fires associated with high winds. It's the combination of dry conditions and gusty winds that make fires especially hard to deal with. That, that sustained wind that pushes those fires faster than we can, you know, it becomes a, a game of chase at that point. A chase this station is ready for. Station 4 of the Rogers Fire Department is a little different than others around here. It is equipped with what's known as a brush truck. This four-wheel drive, smaller vehicle is specially equipped to deal with fires that get into open grass. The problem with a bulky truck, like you typically see, it cannot go off-road and is slow to react compared to a fire spreading with 35 mile per hour wind gusts. So who is qualified to operate a truck that moves at such a fast pace? Meet Allen. He usually rides in the back seat of the larger engines, except when the brush truck is deployed. He tells us even the hoses are built for quick deployment. These hoses right here, one on each side, they're quick to pull off, they unroll, and then uh, when we get a fire put out in a certain area, we can roll them back up with just the push of a button real quick and move on to wherever else the fire is. The Rogers Fire Department has two levels of activation depending on weather conditions. Level two is the highest and is put into effect when we have red flag warnings and uh, that brush truck will be staffed over time when that's the case. Live in Rogers, Chris Swain, 4029 News.